Konnichiwa, Creepy Kaiju Kitties! This is your old buddy Aiden, and today we are returning to the Toho Stable of Monsters to draw Gigan. Today, of course, Toho released their short film, Godzilla vs. Gigan Rex. You can find it here on YouTube. It's a lot of fun. And, of course, this was also done to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Godzilla vs. Gigan, which was released in 1972. Coincidentally, this is also the 72nd episode of Dada Haina's Creature Show. That's a coincidence. It means absolutely nothing, but I said it anyway. In my drawing video for Godzilla, I had mentioned that of the Godzilla films of the 1970s, I enjoyed the monsters more than the films they actually appeared in. And that's definitely the case with Gigan. Gigan, of course, had starred in the previously mentioned Godzilla vs. Gigan and returned the following year for Godzilla vs. Megalon. And even though these two films are not exactly the best examples of Godzilla movies, I enjoy them. I've watched them a lot over the years, but... The quality of those two films in particular, with the stock footage and the really low budgets. Even hardcore Godzilla fans usually don't defend those two films very much. But the highlight of both of those films for me is Gigan. Gigan is definitely an example of a kaiju with character, and he's got a ton of character. That character, of course, is a complete, total bastard. Gigan is a just a hyperactive, sadistic son of a bitch who just, you can tell even underneath this big heavy costume with barely any features for like emotion and you can still immediately tell the personality of this character. Gigan, I think, was played by Kenpachiro Satsuma who would later go on to play Godzilla in the 90s and he, just like Haruo Nakajima, he shows that he has a lot of acting skills while being buried underneath this gigantic heavy costume. Surviving when one of those things can't be easy easy, but surviving and putting in a performance and giving us a, a kaiju, again, with personality, which is not easy to do, and he did it marvelously, so really got to give him credit for that. Gigan never quite achieved the popularity of Ghidorah or Mechagodzilla, but he still had a huge fan base, and as this recent film shows, he's still popular enough to warrant a redesign and a revisiting. Gigan also appeared in one of my favorite Godzilla movies, which was Godzilla Final Wars, where he had the appropriately sort of H.R. Giger design to him, only without anything overtly phallic. Gigan's design, of course, is one of the most extreme in the Godzilla series, and you, uh, honestly, I'm a big fan of it. As much as I like the animal monsters, the more restrained ones, I guess, in the 1960s, the 70s had a flavor of their own, and Gigan's just totally off-the-wall design is a lot of fun, and has a lot of room for reinterpretation. They're, like I had mentioned with Godzilla Final Wars and uh, the new Gigan Rex, there's a lot of surprises they bury in this kaiju design, so definitely see for yourself what they've done with him. That about wraps it up for today, kids. See you back on Nebula M Space Hunter, and join us next time for our Dada Hyenas Creature Show. Bye-bye.